So I'm in San Francisco at the moment, uh, which is literally one of my favourite cities in the world. Look at this random little bridge I found. Very nice. Um, but the trip here was really weird, and I kind of want to tell you why it was a bit weird, because you might get it yourself. Uh, it was most weird because when I was standing in line to drop my bag off uh, for the flight, I spotted something a bit odd on my boarding pass. And I was already like a little bit on edge because I've heard some people's experiences with Trump's TSA. Uh, but those four S's stand for Secondary Security Screening Selection. And they don't publish why you might get it, but there's kind of a few vague reasons on the internet. Number one uh, is that you're just on a list and you're unlucky and there's not much you can do about it. Uh, number two is that you bought a one-way ticket. Number three uh, is that you paid all cash because people apparently still do that for really expensive flights. And four, just completely random. I mean, I was probably selected at random, you hope. Um, there might have been a bit to do with I flew out with American, I flew back with BA, so it might not have been able to find my return ticket. Traveling alone, that normally causes some problems at the border. Um, but the long and the short of it is that if you find these four letters on one of your boarding classes, this is what's going to happen to you. First of all, you're going to get a lot of questions as you check in. You normally get one or two because that's the way it works. But I was standing there for at least five minutes telling this guy basically day by day everything that I plan to do on this holiday. Um, far more than normal. That's fine. That's just the way it is. The weirdest part, though, was you get a quite embarrassing full pat down and bag search at the gate in front of the rest of the plane just as everyone's boarding and when i say pat down i really mean pat down i mean at the end of the day it wasn't that bad i'm a white guy so going through security checkpoints isn't really normally much of a problem for me i think if i was a member of an ethnicity that was more regularly stereotyped in those kind of situations i'd find it pretty awkward uh, especially because you're just standing in front of the rest of the passengers and they don't tell you what's going on, they just tell you it's going to happen and if you want to get on the plane you have to go along with it. I mean if I hadn't googled beforehand to see why those four S's were on my boarding pass I wouldn't have even had a clue that it was about to happen and I guess that's kind of why I'm making this video. Anyway, I'm around the Bay Area for the next few days uh, making a couple of videos as well so if you fancy subscribing you can click the link below. Thank you.